There are rotten bastards out there that are trying to steal your footage, you know, your drone footage. I've just found there are several people, in fact, more than several, there are dozens if not hundreds of people who are gathering drone footage from across the internet and putting it together, making compilation videos and putting it up on use, on YouTube and um, getting hits, getting lots of hits. And it annoys the crap out of me, to be quite honest with you. I'm Aussie Mark, and yes, I am annoyed. This is not something that I want to happen. And so there are a number of ways that you can stop that from happening. One of them is to um, put yourself into the picture, small down the bottom of the footage, like I showed you on the last video. Remember that one there? So uh, if you didn't see it, by all means, uh, stop this video and go have a look at that. That's one way to um, stop the bastards stealing your footage. And of course, the other way is to put a watermark on there. And I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it to try and brand your footage, whether it just be straight out of the camera and uploaded to YouTube or whether you bother doing a bit of editing. Um, this simple edit should stop the bastards from stealing your footage. I hope so. So we're back on this free video editor VSDC. And as usual, I'll put the link down for those of you who may want to try it and haven't downloaded it yet. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am not getting a single kickback from mentioning that product. There is an upgrade available, but um, I'm doing this off my own bat, uh, not a sense coming my way. Anyway, let's move on. So um, once you've got your footage uh, that you want to, to um, create a video on, so we've got this footage, piece of footage here. I'll just preview that to show you. So that's a piece of footage from one of my old videos. You may have seen that before. There's no branding on it at all. So anybody could actually take that piece of footage um, and use it in any way they like. Um, even though I haven't got it as Creative Commons, people still like to steal videos, unfortunately. So I'll get stop that and get out of that. So a couple of simple ways. Once you've got your footage in there, you can either stick a logo in the corner so what I'm going to do for that is just go um, add image. I'm going to grab one of my uh, a logo that I the logo for my channel. And I've got my logo, as you can see, with a white background, with a blue background, even with a green background. And I've made that so that I can chroma key out that part of it. Let's try this green one. So I could actually just put that in there, click on that and open. Um, from the cursor point which is at the beginning and then all I need to do is to move this down to watermark it just shrink it down and I could pop it in there and then I would have if I preview that you're going to have your branding on that video which is people are less likely to steal if you don't like that and think that's too um, you know in your face and spoiling the look of your footage let me just close that there's a couple of things you can do. Firstly, I'm just going to chroma key at that green simply because I can. Um, so if I'm, I've clicked on that, made sure that's selected, I'm going to go uh, right click, go to my video effects, I'm going to go to transitions, uh, sorry, to transparency, background remover. Uh, I'm going to click on that. And now, once I double click here, I should now be able to, if we go to our, whoops, properties window is what I wanted, properties, there we are, and I'm just going to click my little dropper, get rid of that, open this back up here, I'll just pin that so it stays there, and then I can adjust the, um, the properties, so I'll just see what that looks like quickly. So that is a lot, um, you know, a lot better, I don't like that green on there. So, but what if, for example, um, you still find that a bit too obtrusive? Well, there's the only other thing you can do on that one is to actually um, make it less obtrusive by making it slightly transparent. How do I add a transparency? I'm going to go back to um, the original scene, make sure I'm still um, with selected on the actual logo. And this time I'm going to go up to uh, right click on the actual file go up to video effects and down to transparency again this time to custom transparency 
So all I do here is, as you'll see over here on the right hand side, the transparency is currently at 100%, but I can easily, just using, just drop that down to whatever I want to. I'm gonna drop this all the way down to 30%. So I'm gonna type it instead of using that um, selection tool and enter. And then if I look at the footage this time, an awful lot more uh, unobtrusive, but still branded. So uh, I can now just export that uh, and I'd have that branding on that video. One last thing that I wanted to mention though, and that is um, that I have even seen people steal a video and literally crop um, just a section of the video so that they lose the logo that's in the corner. And um, you know, we can avoid, you can avoid that by uh, either having that logo made large right across the whole screen, but I think that looks pretty ugly. So um, what, you, what I prefer to do is to actually, and you've probably seen this on some YouTube footage as well. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This time I'm just going to add some text. So I'm just gonna go up here to the, uh, the text button, click on that, text is what I want. And all I do here is type where I wanna put the text. So if I want that text to run right the way across here, let's start putting in some text. I'm just going to put in Aussie Marks videos. So that's way too small, obviously. So we go up here to the character tools at the top, make this um, the size font that we want. It's currently 29 point. So if I can either um, type in the point size I want, or I can just use the drop down menu. I'm going to try 96. Whoops, we might have to highlight that first. And 96. And now you'll see it doesn't quite fit, but if I just click away from it, plumb back to it, I can now drag that out. Still a little bit small for my, what I want. So I'm going to this time try 110. So I'll just put in 110, enter. That's about right. And obviously we don't want, you, you, nobody wants their video with a great big word across it in uh, full strength. So we add the transparency again. So I'll go back down to here, right click, video effects, transparency, custom transparency is what I'm selecting. There we go, and okay that. And now I've got the custom transparency from that previous work at 30%. You could even bring it down further. Let's see what it looks like at 15%. So you can barely see it, but it's there. If we hit that preview button again. Okay, so now uh, you could even make that less. Well, I'm gonna go all the way down to um, 5% and see what that looks like and enter. But if you preview it, barely, barely see it, but it is there. And that doesn't spoil your footage. Um, entirely but it definitely brands it so no one else can steal it from you so i think branding is definitely the way to go with drone footage i hope you do it once again thank you very much for being here and one of my subscribers would like to say a few words before we finish the video bye g'day guys how are you going my name's josh and i run a channel called the Aries down under in wa you'll find the link in the description below Basically, my channel is about back out four wheel driving, paranormal phenomena, thought provoking videos, and it all comes from Perth in Western Australia where I live. Now, if you don't know Aussie Mark, I suggest that you like and subscribe to his channel. He looks like this, and his motto looks like this. Thanks very much.